Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are doing a few different things, including tackling Sydney's playroom and decluttering all of the things that we do not need, doing some grocery shopping, and I'm including a grocery haul in this video, as well as a dump and go, super easy crock pot meal. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Give it a thumbs up if you do, and we'll jump into it. Hey guys, and welcome back. We are tackling the playroom today and decluttering all of the toys. For the longest time, she played with everything. I didn't really need to worry about decluttering because everything got made use of. But obviously now as she's growing older, a lot of the things um, just maybe are not age appropriate for her anymore. We're making room for new items. We're just decluttering and making space in general. Um, so that's what we're doing today. She's in preschool right now, so it's the perfect time, the most efficient time as a parent to tackle any toys because that way she's not around to say like, no, I want to keep this, I want to keep that, I want to keep this. Uh, lots of stuff will be going in storage, maybe for future uh, friends, kids, and families, kids, and all of that stuff. Some of the stuff I'll be donating and some of it might be trashed and like missing pieces and just broken and, and all of that. So I'm actually staying on top of it, doing really well, but I did allow it to kind of get out of control this weekend when I was doing other things and Sydney was just like having a ball. So that's the state we're in right now. If you guys can relate, leave me a comment down below. I think what I'm gonna do first is just go through the bins that she has over here. We have all of these bins from Target. They're amazing. The little cube units um, just have been amazing. They hold a ton of stuff. So this is what we are working with currently. Again, I did I did allow her to just kind of make a mess yesterday knowing that I was gonna clean today and I had just other things I was doing. Um, she usually does do decent at putting things away, but and these are mostly like arts and crafts supplies and that's what she more gravitates towards. She more gravitates towards like games and art supplies these days. That's Play-Doh and kinetic sand and just like educational things. Um, so I am going to be tackling that as well. I know this is like an eyesore, but this is Sydney's feast and I cleaned it up one time, like several days later. And she was like so upset that I destroyed her feast. So that unfortunately is gonna be an eyesore and it's just gonna stay. Well, an eyesore for, you know, me. <laughs> So it actually wasn't half as bad as I thought. I had forgotten that I did do some decluttering in the past. So actually most of these were like empty. So that's actually good news. I totally forgot that I had done some decluttering um, to begin with, but like, you know, random things. Do these have a spot? What does that even go to? You know, you know, this is the situation we're dealing with, but not as bad as I had thought. So I put some of the larger items in here that she still plays with. Like, yes, those are a little bit younger, but she still plays, like pretend plays with those. So I'm gonna keep the things that I know that she pretend plays with. Um, 
still. So, and like try to organize them by those are gonna be cars and vehicle things. Um, these are gonna be like, she has a bunch of horses actually and I don't know where they are. I'm sure they're in those, I think they're in those bins over there. So these are gonna be like the figurine type of things. Dinosaurs and horses, oh my. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys are this way too. I always, always make more of a mess when I'm decluttering. I just have to dump things into piles and start with like empty bins or empty shelves, whatever it is that I'm decluttering. I make more of a mess to begin with because then I can sift through the pile and figure out what I'm keeping, what's what I'm donating, what's trash. Anyway, <laughs> that's the situation with the playroom. Um, so the things that are like McDonald's little Happy Meal toys, I'm just going to either throw those away or put those in a goodwill bag and just get rid of them because we just don't need any more of the little things that are cluttering up and taking up space and just that end up all over the floor that I step on, get broken. It's just junk, you know, to be honest, it's just junk. So I'm of course trying to make room for Christmas and her birthday, which are December and February. Um, so trying to just think ahead and figure out what it is that she might be getting for Christmas so we can have some space for it. And it, man, does it feel good. Why don't we go back to, why don't I still see your silhouette Why don't we go back to Why don't we go back to Your bed problem are these toys that come in multiple parts or like little pieces game pieces that are just loose and not back where they belong um and i'm gonna have i have no mercy as far as getting rid of things now that city's in school it's definitely a really good independent player obviously as she gets older her um what she wants to play with and what she gravitates towards changes a little bit. She loves pretend play, like she's a huge pretend player. Um, and she likes arts and crafts, uh, types of things and Play-Dohs and drawing and coloring and, and things like that. So yeah, as she gets older, like what she wants to play with changes a little bit, but she still loves to pretend play and a lot of her toys are just that. So part of the problem, well, a lot of the problem <laughs> is that I can't do this when Sydney's home. She went up in storage and went to get her like baby toddler elephant chair and she's like, I can still fit in it, mom. I'm like, oh, I can't ever make space. Um, so sometimes she'll go into storage and bring things down. And then I've just developed this new rule. If you're gonna take something from storage, then you need to put something into storage. So hopefully it's manageable that way. But yeah, she like sees her baby toys that are for legit babies and she wants them. So either I need to like get them out of the house completely, like out of sight, out of mind. Um, I mean, they're not even in sight, but she, I don't know. I'm sure, I'm sure I'm not alone in that and some kids are like that too. I wanna wake up like my dreams still near. It's no spot of my best friend now. Get me away from here. I got plans, I got things to do. Gotta do my hours, do my hours. Why is everything so damn hot? Gray skies and rain clouds. I postpone everything. Worrying about stupid things. When is it my turn to start living? So I have a little bit of time before I have to go pick up Sydney from school. So I'm going to go ahead and 
uh, tackle some of these and whatever I get done is what I get done. I'm not gonna like stress over it. I'll do this over time. But a lot of these are like coloring books and preschool workbooks and markers, arts and crafts supplies that, um, like I said, she's super into. I might uh, get another bin. Gotta play it cool, keep my head up above the water, yeah, it's all I gotta do, quit drinking all that shit, till I see the horizon, and when everything is so damn hard, I'll work through it, I postpone everything, worrying about stupid things. We are making progress. This is all gonna go in storage for now. All the things that have been trashed have been trashed. Okay, so I spent a couple of hours on Sydney's playroom the other day and got a lot accomplished. I'm feeling really good. Brought a couple of bags up to storage and just trying to make space. Obviously, you know how that goes. So feeling really good about that. But today's agenda, we are making, I really want a crock pot dinner tonight. Um, and I do need to get some groceries. I've been going to like Sam's Club and like random runs here and there, like little runs. Um, but I really need to do like the chicken, the bread, the vegetables, like the whole nine yards. So we're going to pop in to Hannaford real quick and then I'm going to make a crock pot ranch chicken meal. I'm not a huge ranch flavored person, but for some reason I'm like craving. It looks really good. I've seen recipes on Pinterest and whatnot. So that's what we're going to do. And the walls are getting in, the clouds are waiting. I'm going to keep my mind straight. Back from Hannaford, I'm gonna try to run through and do like a super quick grocery haul even though I have a lot here. I definitely needed a lot of produce since we were out. Um, and then I purchased a bunch of stuff for the freezer because if you guys have been watching, you know that I just got a freezer chest. So I want to just stock that up with lots of, you know, frozen items and whatnot that we go through a lot. So I have a bag of frozen peas, um, some Kashi waffles. That's what Sydney enjoys for breakfast very often. So I got some Kashi waffles. We have um, chicken nuggets. These are the ones that Sydney prefers and I actually like them for her too because they are on the, I don't know, I mean they're chicken nuggets, but they're whole grain and natural at least. We have some pizza dough. I'm gonna pop in the freezer some multi-grain pizza dough um, and then a frozen freshetta brick oven pizza that I love. Um, so that's gonna all go in the freezer. We have some Uncrustables just for like when we need those grab and go quick uh, lunches or whatnot. And then I had to get some ice cream just to have in the freezer. So that's what we got for those items. We have some snack pouches for Sydney. These were on sale for a dollar. So I just grabbed just like a handful of these and Sydney still really likes them. And I like them for her because they have good ingredients in them, lots of fruits and vegetables, lots of like fiber and protein. So those are good instead of just an applesauce. Sometimes we do those. Um, I needed some tin foil. These are so delicious. I had to grab some because I've been out for a little while now. The skinny dipped cashews. These are the dark chocolate sea salted caramel. Oh my God, these are addicting and delicious. Very expensive, so anyway. Those are gonna be a yummy snack for mommy. We have some pantry items. I was out of um, like vegetable oil, apple cider vinegar, 
we have mayonnaise and I do I have tried the avocado mayo like made with avocado oil and I know it's healthier for you it does not taste the same when you make like egg salad chicken salad I had to go with her just, I just did Sometimes you get a sacrifice. We have my coffee creamer, some canned soup. We, I just got like one um, canned like chicken soup. It's actually going to be really good to have this on hand since we are now dealing with new preschool germs and whatnot. Um, obviously, homemade soup is the best, but if, God forbid, any of us are unwell and we just need soup, something super quick. Um, so I got roasted chicken noodle soup, um, some carrots, corn. This has been out of stock forever this like a green giant corn and it was finally in stock so I grabbed a couple of cans of that um we have canned green beans some black olives Sydney likes snacking on them and then they're good in pasta salad so that we have milk um we have carrots because that is going to be in the recipe that I'm making today Sydney has been enjoying these lately these smoothie pouches um they have, I mean, not too much sugar, but it's just like a, I don't know, like a nice little snack for her for school, throwing that in her lunchbox. Um, they have just, I don't know, fruits and I guess, I guess veggies in some of them. We have a bag of mandarin oranges. I love having those on hand because they at least last, whereas a lot of the other like fruit, you know, only might last a, a few days, if I'm being real. Um, we have some dried cranberries for snacks. These are... I mean, Sydney likes them too, but I really got them for me, the quick breaks. They have cranberries, cashews, and cheese in those. We have some shredded cheese, a ranch seasoning mix for the crock pot meal. Um, so I have some deli turkey, deli cheese, and then chicken. What else? A bag of avocados, some potatoes. Um, I just got the tri-colored peppers. Sydney enjoys snacking on them, and we pretty much buy peppers and avocados, like, weekly. Uh, a big thing of raspberries, so I'm going to keep half of this in the fridge, and then half of it I'm going to freeze. Frozen raspberries are awesome because they thaw in, like, two seconds and are easy to eat. So, um, some cereal. Oh, my word, this is a bigger haul than I expected. We have green beans, and that's going to be for the crock pot meal as well. Uh, cucumber yellow onion, some baby spinach, and some shake and bake to have on hand, extra crispy always. We have some bread for sandwiches, and then I just needed some town trash bags. So uh, that is what I picked up for groceries. I'm gonna put this all away and then start on the crock pot meal. Pretty decent so far in there. Not too bad. So the crock pot dinner that I made today was very easy. It's a dump and go recipe with yellow onion, Yukon gold potatoes, chicken, a ranch seasoning packet, carrots, and fresh green beans. Now you can make this with whatever ingredients that you like. You can, you know, take out the carrots, take out the onion, or whatever it is that you like so simple so all i did was cut up or like chunk up the yukon gold potatoes and then i chopped up the veggies just loose chop now looking back on this it took a little longer to cook because i did keep things a little larger so just keep that in mind depending on how long it is that you are gonna have your crock pot cooking for if you're all gone all day for work if you accidentally didn't start it until 1 8, 1 p.m like i didn't <laughs> Uh, so simple. All you do is put all of these things in the crock pot and then top it with the ranch seasoning packet. I admittedly do not love ranch dressing, so I was leery on this, but I have seen lots of variations on Pinterest and for some reason I was just craving it and I really wanted to give it a try. It was a, definitely a different flavor profile than something that I would typically make, um, but I think it was good. I mean, it was, it was simple enough and happy to have some veggies and protein in our lives.
it's been a few hours. The carrots are still pretty crunchy. Um, in hindsight, I should have probably had this on high. But if I could have waited, I mean, I could wait, but Sydney's hungry right now. It's fine. Everything is uh, fine, except for the carrots are just al dente, a little, little bit too crunchy. But I should have known better and probably par cooked them beforehand because carrots take a while. Everything else is ready, though, for the most part. Ready to go. Chicken is like fall apart. Just made crescent rolls to go with it for dinner tonight. I'll be like a nice cozy fall dinner. So definitely let me know in the comments if you guys have tried this recipe or a variation of this before. Um, yeah, it was delicious on the potatoes. I think I would definitely make the potatoes again. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.